welcome to Random Fandom Chats and today is our special on the new Star Wars trailer and we're going to do something a little different. We're going to actually watch it and then talk about it. So mm -hmm. here we go. <laughs> it just always gives a little tingle. Is that music? Is that a star? showcasing that we'll probably see a lot of Ray's training or at least the ending part of her training with Luke. Well yeah, there for a while most of the trailer was that it looked like they were gonna be on that the rock for the whole movie. <laughs> I wasn't sure. I either whenever I was thinking about this movie, I either wanted to start out one of two ways. I either wanted it to start out with the very end of Ray's training and open with her constructing her own lightsaber. I've mentioned that in the past. I just yeah. think that that would just be visually a great opening. But I was also kind of wanting to actually see her training. Maybe not all of it by any means, because, you know, that would probably get a little bit boring. But kind of like how they did with Luke and Yoda. Just a kind of brief take on what what her training entailed and maybe this is the end and it does look it. like it's going to do a little mm -hmm. bit of that it looked like she was in some sort of cave and mm -hmm. then he does want her to be looking or dreaming you know at something um being more in tune with the force right. now is it bad that when he was talking in the trailer all i could really hear was the joker <laughs> Mark Hamill does the voice of Joker in the animated Batman <laughs> stuff. And for some reason, I guess maybe just because he's older and his voice is just naturally a little bit more deeper now, I, guess, I just heard Joker for some reason. Oh, the Joker does Star Wars. That'd be... That would be an interesting concept. <laughs> um, it does look like they're, you know, going to have space, space battles. Of course, um, Star Wars. You always have, have space battles. So, you know, battles. they're showing that, which is interesting. I wasn't sure they were on the planet. It looks like they were dragging the ground and pulling up this red dust or something. What or they that? might have been doing a camouflage to escape from the First Order. Maybe they're having to leave the base that they brought up in the Force Awakens. I maybe? wasn't exactly sure. What I wasn't was sure. Going Visually, on there. it was very interesting it was interesting. To see this red yeah. smoke on this white plane, but I'm not sure how that's going to tie in. Um, it def pod race. <laughs> pod race. Oh God, I hope not. It did definitely look like they were maybe having to escape their base because we saw some explosions. We saw that Finn still looked like he was healing after his battle at the end of the last movie because he was in what looked like maybe a healing pod or maybe. a induced coma, maybe. Not sure. It showed BB-8, but not R2 or C-3PO. Well, they're on the island with Rey and oh, Luke. Oh, okay. Or well, at least, no. R2 is. R2 I, is? I don't think C-3PO is. I know at least R2 is on the island when she arrived there. So that would be interesting. That island looks like it would be really hard to train on. It's just basically this, this tall just rock. Make, like mountain. Yeah. <laughs> of course, maybe, you know, having fear of falling off the side of it every day would <laughs> increase your Jedi training, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Um, I was interested, you know, that Luke basically says it's time for the Jedi to end. I was like, what's up with that? Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. Maybe he's still getting over the trauma of losing everyone in his previous Jedi Academy? I don't, I know. don't know. Well, the title is The Last Jedi, if you guys haven't seen that yet. So maybe he thinks that the Jedi as a concept just needs to die out, maybe? Because there have been there have been Jedi's in the past, or at least in the old canon. I'm not sure if they've really brought that more into the new stuff, but there have been Jedi that have defected from the Order and become what they call gray Jedi's, to where they really believe in almost all neutrality. They don't believe in light or dark. They believe the only way you can find peace within the Force and the universe is neutrality. So maybe he's going more that route. I don't know. Well, and maybe he says that early on. Maybe she's like, hey, I want to be trained. And he's like, no, they, 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 we need to be done. He, he so maybe it could still, be something like that. He may be still harping on us a little bit more of his <laughs> angsty side of, no, I still need to be dramatic and hide <laughs> away on my island. Go away. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> 
<laughs> that, that just seems like Luke, though, doesn't it? Oh, I love Luke as a character, but sometimes. <laughs> yeah, he can be a little bit whiny. Um, now, did this trailer make you excited for the new movie? I think it's, it's going to live up to every other Star Wars mm -hmm. movie. It doesn't look it, No, like this is still just a teaser trailer. So, right, so it's hard so to it's, say. They still didn't really give you anything, really, except, oh, hey, we got this island and two people are training on it. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, well, that was most of the trailer until, yeah. I mean, about the last, you know, 30 seconds or something. You saw that will stuff. allude to maybe some rebels are getting <laughs> blown up, maybe. Well, but... it looked like they had Leia, the back of Leia, like, in front looking of, at looking a map. At, like, yeah, like, so, well, and she is going to be in this movie. Right, so, and it did look like it was her, so, um, I mean, it's hard to say for sure, but it, it looked like it was her, so. I just know that when this movie comes out, I will probably be crying the whole time yeah. because I know it's, it's the last thing Carrie Fisher was ever in. Yeah, it's going to be tough. And I, I doubt that I'll be the only one crying <laughs> in those scenes. Yeah, it's, it's going to be really hard. It's going to be a tense movie just from that standpoint. Well, so we're into April now, and we've got, uh, what, eight more months? Mm -hmm. seven, seven to eight more months, you know, to watch it, so they'll come out with some more I'm, trailers. I'm yeah, sure. I'm definitely looking forward to more trailers leading up to the movie, because a lot of the greatness of Star Wars is the hype leading up to the movie. Right, and I really get like you all that. excited, going, oh! And each trailer gives you yeah. a little bit more speculation and information and whatnot, so. All right, well... This was our special today on the new Star Wars teaser trailer. And check out any of our other specials and our other um, weekly vlogs that we do. Mm -hmm. We also did one on Star Wars Rumors for this movie, if you guys want to check that one out. We did. If you guys like what we do, please subscribe. Like this video if you like it. Leave your own your, your own comments in the section below. Tell us what you thought of the trailer. Tell us if you what you probably took from it and what theories are running around in your head now, because we love having conversations like that. We do. So we'll see you next time. Bye.